Hello everyone, how's everyone doing today? So I uh, recently made a 15-ish minute video about the Dragon Ball Super Chapter 57 and it's one of my first reviews of brand new Dragon Ball content in the Dragon Ball universe. Unfortunately, um, I uploaded it fine, everything went well, and I start viewing it while it was public and I get to the minute or two into the video and it just started not playing and I, every and I'm like what what's going on and like every other YouTube I went on any other YouTube video played fine so I knew there was something up I knew this probably was gonna happen so what what happened is I ended up showing in the panels of the Dragon Ball Super Chapter uh, 57 manga and I guess Shonen Jump or Shayusha, ah, Shayusha, however you spell it, however you pronounce it, uh, wasn't, I guess they have some big, you know, I guess it's understandable that they don't want people just showing the panels in their videos, uh, so you're either going to get, you know, blocked with it or whatever, so, but I'm, I'm just going to be playing some uh, Kakarot here and I'm going to review it without showing a whole lot, I might show a panel or two. Uh, like an image or something, but and that's, I'm fooling around with images on top of the videos, so it's going to be a little bit choppy with the quality. But <clears throat> it's always something I wanted to do, and I hope I my video doesn't get blocked because I showed an image or two. But we're we're about to find out. This is what it's all about: learning and experience of new things, and figuring out what works, what doesn't, for starting a YouTube channel. So uh, I like Dragon Ball. Uh, I want to do I want to do more contact with Dragon Ball. It's a big deal uh, for me growing up and, and still to this day, as we still continue to get new content. So let's just I want to review a little bit. I'm not going to read it word by word. I'm just going to review each panel, and you can find this at viz.com, the whole chapter panel. And for manga, for people who are not familiar with manga, you read it from right to left. So you read it backwards uh, versus the American books and English books. So Japanese manga, you read the story backwards, uh, page by page, so from right to left. So if you're on viz.com, want to follow me, Chapter 57 for uh, Dragon Ball Super. It starts out with just a, a pre-panel before the story gets started of just imageries of the androids Gohan Piccolo, Jacko versus Seven, I guess I guess his name is Seven Three and his little psychic dude. And then it shows an image of Master Roshi and he's he's facing looks like the Spice Girls, like a three beautiful one woman. I'm sure that's gonna turn out well. Then we got Krillin versus uh, I guess Winnie the Pooh here, don't know his name. Tian Shinho Chatsu against the Metal Man and Yamcha against his humanoid lizard looking dude so we begin with <clears throat> we have the big main bad guy the first official panel of the chapter and he's with his his I guess right hand my right hand man the bad guy's name is Moro he's a goat guy and he's the big bad villain of this uh, um, saga here this arc Galactic Patrol arc so it's written by, of course, Akira Toriyama. Uh, the art is direct. The art is done by Totaru, and this the translation for us was done by Caleb Cook. The translation to English, so we understand what's going on, and the lettering is done by Brandon Bovia. So shout out to those guys for uh, translating uh, from Japanese to English. So the next panel goes into uh, Balma. Is basically he, she has created this computer system where everybody can watch what's going on. So everybody in the look, everybody's on top of the lookout, watching all the fights. And the first fight is Krillin versus the Pooh Bear dude. So Krillin is throwing out these Destructo discs. And it looks, it looks pretty cool, much like the Frieza fight back in the day when Krillin was uh, facing Frieza's second form. So uh, Raina Pooh sees this. He gets into a rolling ball position. And it's his defense mechanism to block these destructo, all these destructo discs that he's getting thrown out by Krillin. Krillin's surprised, 
He looks like he's going to get his ass kicked. Next panel, he ends up getting his ass kicked. And <laughs> yeah, uh, Pooh Bear gives him a double fist striking a combination there and shoots him right into the ground, into the dirt. And he's all he's all cocky right now. Pooh Bear's all cocky. And but the dust settles. Krillin actually puts his hand up in the air and starts calling forth his destructo disc back. So that's that's pretty badass scene right there. And Winnie the Pooh he gets taken by surprise, barely dodges the destructo disc that gets that gets controlled back at him but getting gets nicked on the side of his cheek and blood starts coming out of the side of his cheek which is pretty cool we always want to see blood in dragon ball i hope when the anime eventually returns we see that we see that come back in awesome fashion it just shows the intensity of the battle and the battle damage that's taken place like it this is a serious battle people get hurt people bleed you know like you know you get kids watching the show like oh I get in a tough hole, like, oh, I'm only getting a few scratches or something. Yeah, but if you get hurt, you're going to bleed. You know, this is, you're going to lose blood. You know, it's not, it's, you're not fooling around here. So, anyway, going back to the chapter, we, the next panel, we see Krillin, and he, Krillin's even bleeding. He's bleeding from the head where he got hit. That makes sense to me. And now he's controlling these destructo discs, um, and he's he's got five of them out there and he's controlling them going back and honing in on uh, the Pooh Bear guy and Pooh Bear guy continues to bleed from the cheek and he starts dodging these dodging them dodging them and he gets close to Krillin and dodges it in front of him and unfortunately Krillin uh, gets caught in the fire it looks like he gets caught in the he's like he's getting sliced up just like Frieza did uh, back on Namek and Pooh Bear's like, yeah, I got him. And it goes right through Krillin. It ends up being his after image technique. So Krillin pulls a double, <laughs> a double whammy on this guy, fools him again, and pops up like uh, the Cell Goku fight behind the guy and does a Kamehameha wave and blasts him into the ground and KOs Pooh Bear. So Krillin takes this fight and wins this fight. So that's an awesome win for Krillin. Kudos to him. He says, Galactic Patrol, clean up this mess. You know, I got to go find Master Roshi. What, what's he doing? So Master Roshi's having a little bit of So we go into the next scene where Master Roshi's having uh, some problems with, with these three beautiful women. Obviously, he's getting distracted. So that's... Uh, and Krillin figures that out. He knows what's going on. As soon as he sees these girls, he's like, yeah. Master Roshi's getting distracted here. He's not focused at all. Krillin knows what's going on. He knows what's up. So Krillin joins the fight with Master Roshi. We cut back to the Chaozu Tien fight against the Metal Man. Tien just galley hose a big power punch into the Metal Man's uh, chest area has no effect. Tien is hurting with his fist there. He's like, ouch, what's going on? This guy's super strong. And they go back to the Universe 6 and 7 fight. They were watching Tien and Chaozu were watching that fight. And they realized that, oh, I remember Metal Man was weak against insults. So they, this guy can't take insults well. And so <clears throat> they're figuring out, all right, we need to insult him. Goes back to uh, the lookout where Bulma's like, yeah, they need to insult him. And then it goes back to the fight with Tien, Tien and Chaozu. So <clears throat> Bulma was asking, well, how's Tien's go how is Tien going <laughs> to insult this guy? He's not really a big insulter, even though back in Dragon Ball, the original Dragon Ball, he did insult a few people. Uh, so I don't know what's all about that. Anyway, so um, <laughs> it's funny how he tries to insult to insult him he goes you have ton tubby you rockhead and you know these are all actually compliments to uh, the metal man because he weighs more than a half ton and his head is way harder than rock to begin with so tn's having a uh, little bit of trouble insulting this guy 
Um, but here comes my boy Chow Tzu. Chow Tzu's like, yo, octopus looking looking ass dude. Uh, <laughs> Chow Tzu, now I know Chow Tzu has no problem insulting people. So he calls this guy a you half witted hunk of scrap metal, and that does it. This metal guy gets KO'd. Chow Tzu takes the victory. Let's go, Chow Tzu. Finally, after a while, he finally gets a KO. So good on Chow Tzu. He, he does the job where Tian couldn't. And we go back to Master Roshi, Krillin versus these three Spice Girls. And Master Roshi has finally got the upper hand. He puts on a blindfold so he doesn't have to see these gorgeous looking girls. And he starts fighting them no problem. No problem. He's, he's taking them to town right now. Some really cool animated looking fight. Remember, go on viz.com, check these, check out these panels, and really neat looking pic picture of Master Roshi just looking all cool and badass like. And he's just he, he has no problem taking these girls on, and it's just him taking them on. The girl is just watching. And so these girls are like, all right, we we need it. We need to do something different. So it looks like they're trying to do a special move, and it looks like uh, it goes back to Oolong. And they say they fused. Unfortunately, they don't show how they fused in the panel. I hope that's something they do in the anime. Uh, but anyway, they fuse and they they fuse into these big, thick BBW looking girl. And uh, <laughs> she she means business. She's a little scary looking. But um, Master Roshi's like, all right, I don't need this blindfold no more. <laughs> He's like, that's not cute at all. And uh, Krone's like, we're in massive trouble right now. And and she, the Fuse version of all these girls, goes to town on Krillin and Master Roshi, gut punch to Krillin, kick to Master Roshi, and they're getting their asses beat now. They're getting their asses handled. So it goes back up to the lookout. Poir looks like she's he is concerned about um, Yamcha. Yamcha's getting his ass kicked. Um, so, <clears throat> and then we see Moro's spaceship... Um, I let, comes down to Earth. So Moro and his sidekick, his right hand man, is coming down to Earth, checking things out. And it goes to the Krillin. Or I'm sorry, it goes to the Gohan Piccolo Android against seven three and his sidekick. Android seventeen and eighteen are just they have no hold back. They just are destroying these guys, killing these guys, and. Android 17 flings 7-3 out, and Moros comes down, Moro comes down, catches 7-3, his little minion, by the head, and uh, of course not in a comforting manner, and he's just holding him by the head in midair there, uh, and everybody's surprised and stuff, and I was like, oh, this guy must be the big boss, and uh, seven th or, uh, Moro is talking to 7-3, he's disappointed, but he still wants to save him because of his ability. Seven three copies people's moves, basically. Um, he's like a he's like a mini cell, but um, it, he's more a little complicated. Uh, so Moros throws seven three to his more seven three sidekick there, and uh, tells him to go back to the ship, heal up. So we got uh, Moros Moro and. His right hand man uh, talking to the Z fighters here, and uh, Moro, he, he's just he's looking for some high energy people to absorb, to take their life energy and uh, absorb it into them. So uh, <clears throat> he's, he continues to talk to them, and basically just trying to like you know I'm gonna take you guys out one by one and enjoy this, but then um, his right hand man interrupts him. And he's like, you know, listen, Lord Morrow, let me let me take these guys, let me take these fools on. So <laughs> he ends up um, agreeing to his right hand man. All right, you know, you can have your fun. And but before he starts fighting them, Moro can actually grant energy to to uh, his minions, I guess. So he he takes a little bit of his energy and gives it to Mor uh to give it give it to his right hand man, and this guy just gets jacked. His shirt rips off. Some of his freaking pants rip off. Like he's he went full Broly here, 
And the Z and the Z fighter is like, oh crap, here we go again. Is his uh, key level just shot up? So they're scared out of their minds right now. He goes after 17 right away with a, a big right hook. And 17 manages to, manages to block it. But it's pulling him back. Android 18 comes up behind him, tries to hold Android 17 for the impact. And then it's still not enough. So uh, Gohan, Piccolo, and even Jacko, surprisingly, tries to hold this guy's impact back. All, all five of them are trying to hold this guy back. So he goes berserk. He starts swinging everybody around. He's got... Uh, I think he's got Gohan and Android 17 by the head and just grabbing them by the head and swinging them around and fighting off all the other Z fighters. And they're, they're getting messed up. He throws these guys to the ground and it's not looking good for the Z fighters. So the next panel, it goes back to Tian Shin and Chao Tzu and they're looking for Yamcha. Yamcha's getting beat up by this lizard, humanoid looking guy. And Tian, Tian kind of saves Yamcha a little bit and they start to face off goes back to the all right we go back to the Krillin Master Roshi and Fusion Girl fight and so <clears throat> Krillin's like man I gotta formulate a plan I know Goku's trying to Goku's trying to get back here I know he is so it looks like Krillin is going to raise his power level to get Goku to you know instant transmission here so it goes to the next panel, goes to Goku flying in the ship, and he's trying to instant transmission, but he can't get a good read on anybody's power level because they're so low right now because they're getting beat up. So Krillin starts powering up all the way, and Goku finally gets a read on it. And But the fusion girl sees, obviously sees Krillin powering up, goes right for him, about to just destroy Krillin here. But Krillin just maintains his badass where he continues to power up. And all of a sudden, uh, the fusion girl just gets walloped in the gut. And we don't know who did it. Did Krillin do it? Did, uh, and then it ends up Goku was able to insert transmission right in front before Krillin got demolished. And Master Roshi, Krillin's like, it's Goku showed up he shows up in a little in a badass position here he's he's all he's got his chest puffed out he's ready to fight he's like sorry got a habit of showing up late and that's where the chapter ends so my thoughts on on that review and that Probably little summary is you know that it, it was it was fun it was a fun chapter um it, it didn't it, it did push the story along, but I mean, we're we're here. We're Dragon Ball fans. We, we we live and die for this stuff, and we love the fighting. We love the fights. So this is gonna be, while it doesn't, the fluidity doesn't transfer well in the manga like in the anime. This is gonna be a big, uh, maybe one or two episodes of them just fighting. Hopefully, when the anime comes back, so it's gonna be a lot of fun to watch. And uh, we're going to get a lot more out of this than this chapter. So, But it was still a good chapter in my opinion. And um, the art was, was excellent. Now this last shot, if you, like I said, you guys go to viz.com and you'll see this, this, this panel. This last shot of Goku, I really like it. I think the arm, the left arm is a little bit too small. I wish, I wish Tori, Tori Tora would um, buff that up a little bit. Because this, because the neck is thick, it's just the the freaking arm is, is a little drawn too small, you know. But it, it's whatever. It's it's a small type of uh, you know, cr cr critis criticism. So, um, and I'm gonna try to overlay some images um, over the Kakarot game that I'm I'm just walking around with Gohan, um, and uh, try to do some imagery here. Hopefully, uh, she, she uh, doesn't block me or whatever. But we'll see. So about like I said before, it's all about finding out stuff. So let me end the video there, and I'm hoping to do this next month when the next chapter 58 comes out, and uh, we'll continue doing brand new spanking new Dragon Ball content. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Adios.